Alrighty, welcome to another episode of Chasing Fish. We are going basic kayak fishing round two. Um, we noticed that a lot of people wanted to see more of just a basic setup fishing. Um, so here we are, we're going to go out and have a bit of a troll um, on this really nice day. We've got as basic as we can get. We've just got the stock standard BCF kayak that we got years ago now, um, which we started in. And we're just going to go for a bit of a troll today, really. So trawling lures for whatever else, whatever we can find out there today. So it should be a nice day. So we don't have wheels because this is basic as basic can get. We've only got two rods, a couple of handful, a handful of lures. Um, so I think there's five hard bodies and four plastics, which you can't even buy four plastics if they're in a pack. So this is minimal basic fishing from the kayak. So we've got the setup here. We've <laughs> We've only got the one strap down. I do recommend doing two straps if you're going somewhere. Um, this is just because I'm only just up the road. So pretty basic. So let's get into it. It's really good. I do like it because of how shallow you can go. You don't need the pins. So all we've got, we'll put that on so we don't sink and drown our lives away. No bait. We collect them bait, hopefully. Holy Jesus, I'm fat. Oh, that's gonna snug up nice. <coughs> Holy shit. No up. Listen, that sucker off. Holy moly, this is like wearing a weddy. This is sick. Let's go again. Ah, oh, that's where that one is. So I've just got pliers, one little spool of six pound leader, through if I break off and need a tie down, and a couple of lures. Let's do it. So close to the water. <laughs> oh, this is kind of cool. We love it. Yes! Come on! We don't want to drown the phone though, so we'll put him in there. Not fully waterproof, so you might want a uh, waterproof. You <coughs> see there's a bit of marks on my camera. If you want to keep your phone fully waterproof, either have a fully waterproof case or put it in a little tub sort of thing. Get out there. <laughs> I underestimated how well I'll be at this. I don't think I'll be able to get to where I wanted to today. Um, but we'll have a crack, we'll head down that way. And the thing is we'll have to head back as well. But that'll be with the incoming tide hopefully, so we should be all right. Um, <coughs> I'm sorry, the sun might be behind us for pretty much most of it um, but I'm out deep enough now I can still see the bottom but I know it's deeper and we're gonna chuck the plastic out now and then we'll get the hard body out when we're a little bit deeper because with your hard bodies you want to know you want to know how deep they're going which they say on the packets so I've got a what have I got on a 95 mil double clutch I know that all my double clutches go two three meters ish um, when trawling and casting so Need to get out a little bit further for that because I want it still maybe half a metre to a metre off the ground anyway. So I want to be in about three and a half to four metres deep. Um, but yeah, that's the... It's, it's different with each lure. You don't want to just go and grab one of these and think, oh yeah, it'll work in six metres because it won't. Um, same as if it's too shallow. It can work in the shallows, but you don't want too much structure and weed on the ground because it will be picking them up. Um, so yeah, you'll want a shallower, say if you're in a metre and a half, which bit hard to troll in sometimes but it is doable I have done it before 
Um, if you are trawling in one and a half meters, make sure you've got that really shallow bib that goes to a meter ish. Um, the fish will come up to it and smack them. So it's a nice clear day today. We're going to catch some fish, I think. Spirits are up. The memories are back, back in the yellow submarine. Oh, it was so good getting in this morning. I'm like, yep, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Anyways, we'll get this plastic out. And then we're not really allowed to stop with this until we chuck the other one out. Because this is our movement. Don't get the luxury of using our feet. Um, but that's all right. So it's also a dialer one. I thought I put on the other one, but whatever. We'll start with the small and work our way up. And you don't need expensive gear for this either. What's that? That one isn't cheap. That one isn't cheap either, but they're just reels. Reels are reels. Wow. Let it land and then take off. And I've got the spin reels because that way I can hear the drag. If I've got the bait casters that don't have the drag, I won't know whether it's on because they're behind me. So they're out of my vision. My vision comes in about there and there. Um, blocked off a little more with the sunglasses too. So spin reels for trawling when your rods are behind you so you can hear them. Know when you get a hit. Well, some hits won't make noises, but if they take some drag, you'll know. You don't need a fast paddle either. You can just go slow. Oh, that's some gross weed stuff. We don't want that. Uh, now I'm going to want fast to bring me soft plastic up a bit higher to get it over those. Get the weed on this thing. Not ideal. I don't use my rudder on this. I just do either two like that and one like that if I want to turn that way or vice versa. I'm out far enough. I've got a 95mm double clutch. I'll try and get some shade so you can see that. 95mm double clutch in gold black. That's the shiny gold because there is a gold that doesn't. And I've only got two trebles on that but I'm going to have to start moving so I'll get this out there quickly. And that'll catch nearly any species. I use the 95 for brim. Use it for flatties. Put snapper on the size up from that. Only pinkies. Um, but yeah, depending on how deep you're fishing, which you'll know if you have a sound of it, we are real basic, so we don't fully know. But we can find out with our lures, whether they're hitting the bottom or not, or by vision, seen through the water. And all we're doing is going parallel to the beach to keep that depth pretty similar the whole way. About three to four meters or something. That's an estimate because I'm not 100% sure. But going off what I could see, it looks about that. I had a hit. Hear that? I hit the bottom, but it sounded like a hit. That one's still swimming pretty good. And so, I, you probably won't be able to see that with the sun. But that one's not going like that anymore, which means that's got some weed on it. And it's probably dragging along at the surface or not yet. I don't know. We'll um, wind it up. Once I get a little bit of pace to keep the uh, plastic still moving. Oh no, it must have come off because I can feel that now. That's all good then. Oh yeah, back to this little wobble, which is good. Got one on the plastic. 
and this is why we run both hard body and plastic. Plastic's more so for the smaller species like the yakas. Um, but this could be, who knows? Oh yeah, looks like a snook or a cuda. That's a good one actually. It's a snook. It's a snook. I'm supposed to have that. I don't know if it'll fit in my little net though. We've got him. And how's that? How good's that? I'm gonna hold him up and show you this because they're very slimy and gross, but <laughs> that's one of the species we're chasing. I might just wind that other rod in first actually because that'll make a mess somewhere. It probably won't, it's out back there somewhere. But we've done it, we've got ourselves a first fish for the first uh, little session. And he's not a small one. Oh, I just thought something might have been following that. I do actually have a paddle strapped in there, but I, can't, I haven't put that on yet, which, which I recommend you do. Oh, how about that? He's not a small sucker. We're going to grab him around the head. No, we're not. Slime he has. Didn't work. Um. Yeah, boy. He's upside down. He's around and around. But there you go. So that's a little plucky that did it. I'm gonna pull that out. And he becomes bait. <laughs> Snapper chunks. You get good chunks out of these. So you only do a chunk like that big. So you get one, two, three. And then you fillet the tail bit, which is a nice fillet bait as well. I might actually just leave him in the foot. Well, I think he might get out if I put him in the uh, in the bucket. Because the bucket's not really that big. But yeah, so that's what we're using. And that's what we get. I only just cast that one back out too. All right. Currently trolling. Um, which you need to know about trolling. Probably the depth and what lure you're using is going to get to the depth that you want it to. So if I don't have a sounder like I don't now and I can't see the bottom. I don't know exactly how deep it is. Um, and that's when I'll get, I've got a soft plastic tied on here. Right here. And I've got about a one meter leader. So I know that's a meter. And then this line I've got on here has got, uh, where is white sections every meter. So there's one there. And there's one right at the start of me leader, so I know that my leader's already a meter. So I can count how many of those little white intervals when this hits the bottom, and that'll tell us the depth. So what have we got? One, two, three. So we're pretty much three meters deep out here. So that's good to know for hard bodies. So this double clutch would be great for out here because you're trawling it. The line's out back however far, oh, probably 15 to 20 meters ish, is my preferred for trawling a double clutch. And that'll get down to about two to three meters. So with the trawling line and the line back, it'll stay up off the bottom a little bit. Um, so you always gotta know your depth that you wanna be fishing and the depth you want your lure at. So. Half the fish that I'm catching will be near the surface anyway at the moment, being pike, um, pike and cooter pretty much, they'll come up and hit anything. 
um, but you can also use the plastics, which I've got two plastics on now, which I'm gonna draw because it is a little bit weedy. So having the plastics instead of the hard body for trawling allows the weed not to grab up on the trebles or the bib. So it's a lot more efficient and you can trawl them for longer without getting as much weed on them. You can trawl for anything pretty much. I trawl for pike, cooter, trevs, which I haven't got one yet, but I would love to. That's that's the prize goal at the moment, but it's not likely. But that's why I've got the plastics. I prefer to catch them on plastics than the hard bodies, but Ben reckons he does all right on the double clutches for them. Um, trevs, salmon, yakkers, slimy max, all the good baits you want. Um, you'll even catch leather jackets. So if you love your leather jacket, go out and trawl some double clutches. You'll get them on there. You'll get them on plastics. Um, but yeah, so trawling I find is a really good way to go fishing, especially if you're in, if you're if you're limited to <coughs> sorry, if you're limited to what you've got, you can always trawl. You only need one rod really, but you can take two if you want, um, which I've done because I prefer to trawl two than one. If I've got two, I'm going to increase my chances rather than just taking one, um, and that way you can have two different lures out. Um, at the same time and increase your chances again um, so yeah we're just going to trawl these two plastics now see if we can't pop up another pipe or something start heading back I suppose because the winds pick up a little bit but that's fine um, wind conditions being unreal this morning it's just picked up a little bit now so it was only three knots this morning when I launched and it's now maybe five which is still perfectly fine anyway I recommend not going out in anything over over nine, so 10, 10 or more. Also depends on location and wind direction. Um, so always check that, because if you're in a bit of an area where it's a bit more protected, you'll be fine to go out in about nine, 10 knots. Um, but that's probably the maximum I would go out in, even in the Hobie, so if you're in the basic kayak and you're still new to it, stick to your limits, know what you're capable of, and you should be all right and gaining experience will always get you upping each time a little bit more. So, stay safe as always. So yeah, let's get these lines out. Try and get us some more fish. You can also catch snapper on the trawl. I've done that a few times. Double clutches and trawling squid strips works all right. Um, and plastics as well. So this plastic I've got on now is actually the one that Ben got his PV snapper on in Port Phillip. The sexy mullet Z-Man trick swims. So that's one of the favorites. Not that I've, actually I've caught a couple on them. Not snapper, but I've caught a couple of fish on them. And this one is just a smaller profile, two and a half inch uh, dial bait junkie minnow type thing. I don't know the color of that one, but it looks like a little glassy looking thing so that's for the smaller profile for like the yakker and the uh yakkers and trebs and type type kind of things so yeah it's a great way of fishing too especially on a nice day like today you're just out there having fun catching a fish as a bonus And when you are doing this, if you get knackered, stop, just have a flick. Just have a flick, dangle one in the water. I've caught that many fish by just dangling a rod in the water. And squid, you can take squid jigs out and have a squid fish, it's all the same. Great fun, love it. But yeah, you really don't need much at all. Like I've got one set of pliers here, I've got a little net, a bucket, and one roll of leader just in case. Um, and a handful of lures, like you need minimal stuff, so anyone can do this. All right, the wind has picked up quite a bit now. There's not much battery in the camera. I'm going to start trawling back in. Um, it is wet because these kayaks aren't built to keep you dry, of course, um, but you get that in the package deal, so that's all good. That's just a bit much for my liking. 
and I'm going to be moving pretty slowly against the wind, against the tide to get back to the ramp. So we'll catch us back in there or we might hook up on the way in. So we'll see how we go. I see us back there. Woo That got drenched. <laughs> it blew up real big out there. So I've come back in now. So hopefully you've enjoyed this little video. I know we only got one pike, but we dropped a couple others and had a couple other little hits. Um, I did have a little squidge sesh. I didn't go that hard for it because it was windy as. If you would like to see a squid video out of the basic yak setup, Comment in the comments, release the Kraken, and we'll try and get that happening if you just want to say that. But if not, we won't worry about it because why not? So, ripper of a day. Hopefully, you've enjoyed the video. Catch you the next one. Yep.